Hello guys, this and um, welcome to another video. Today I've just got a quick tutorial for you guys on what to do if you see the error no networks are available. Now you get an error like this in the corner of your screen and saying no connections are available. Now this could possibly be because you don't have a um where is that? Because you don't have the network adapter installed, or yeah, maybe you don't have a network adapter installed, um, which you want to go and install that because that is a driver. And the way to do this is go onto a computer that's already connected to your home Wi Fi, download the driver you need for the computer you've got. So, for example, mine's a HP, so I go onto the HP website, go onto the driver download section, then I download the network driver I need. Now, you're going to need a virtual Wi Fi mini port adapter. Family controller, Wi-Fi adapter, and they, yeah, and that's basically it. So you're gonna need them three there: Wi-Fi mini port adapter, family controller, and Wi-Fi adapter. And not all computers need all three of them, but you do need like some sort of wireless network adapter in order to be able to use the internet wirelessly. Or simply, if you've got a HP computer that's not that old, but it is aging a little bit, then you most likely, or it might even be a new HP laptop. You've possibly got a Wi-Fi button on your keyboard. Now, there's possibly a light on it that's orange. If it's orange, click it. Then, just like my keyboard, you can't see it, but it has gone um, a whitish colour. After that, it will turn your Wi-Fi on, and then you should see connections in your nearby area appear here. Now, you can connect to one there, or a slightly long-winded way to connect is to go onto the Wi-Fi bit, open Network and Sharing Centre, Set up a new network and connect to the internet. Then obviously I'm already connected. But if you weren't connected, you'll get a screen like this: wireless, broadband, or dial-up. Now, pretty much most people in the world today are not using dial-up. But if you are, then you can select that option. Um, I don't see who still is. Broadband connect using DSL or cable that requires a username and password. That is a slightly trickier option. However, it does do the trick once you've got it set up. Or wireless, meaning you ain't got plug no cables in from your computer to your router, you can just simply connect wirelessly. Um, so you get these three options. That was basically the end of that video, guys. If you did like it, please comment and like, and also subscribe. Um, please just like and subscribe if you can. Don't really matter about comment. Um, subscribers and likes are more important. But if you don't want to leave a comment, that's totally fine. I'm not expecting comments anyway. I'm mainly expecting likes and subscribers. So please like and subscribe if you did like this video. And also leave a comment if you fancy doing. Um, and I'll see you in the next um, tutorial on the computer. And see you later, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.